Hi, I'm Thomas of iCollect. Today's collector is going to share with us rarely seen vintage kitchen utensils. We also have a giveaway and the details are at the end of this video. So let's go meet our collector. I'm Ong Jin Tiong. I collect uh, vintage kitchen utensils. These are some of my collections. Hello, Dr. Ong. Welcome to iCollect. Thanks for inviting us into your home to you know, take a look at your collection of kitchen utensils. I've seen them all around this table, but first, let us talk a bit about your childhood. I understand that you grew up in a Peranakan family in Penang, and yes. uh, your mother uh, used to give a cooking demonstration to the YWCA in Penang, yes. as well as the Methodist Girls School's Ogles Association. Yes. So with that, all these are happening you know, around the household, and even your mom giving cooking demonstration. How did that influence you in terms of your, your appreciation of uh, cooking? We actually started cooking very, at a very early age mm -hmm. because when my mother met my father, mm -hmm. he realized that all his brothers can cook. Mm. And so that's why we, we were in the kitchen a lot all the of time. the time. So the influence must be great that you even authored two books. I've them right here. The first book, you wrote about Penang heritage food, yesterday's recipes for today's cook. Now, the second book you wrote, Nunya Heritage Kitchen, Origins, Utensils and Recipes. So what's your fascination with kitchen utensils? Actually, we start with the book first. Mm -hmm. uh, the idea of the book started when I collecting all my mother's old recipes. Mm -hmm. And then it occurred to me that uh, you know, I could put them all together and do some other additional, additional things. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the, the collecting of uh, utensils uh, came later. Mm. You know, the, the, there were some old uh, uh, utensils which are still around. Mm -hmm. There are some uh, what are called batik wares which are which we use every day. Mm -hmm. And then I suddenly realized that actually if you go to the shop it costs you a lot of money to buy then mm. decided not to use them anymore. So, so you, you would keep those vintage ones <laughs> yes. as, as almost like a collection already? <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. Okay, Doctor, in that case, let's dive straight into your collection of kitchen utensils. I have it on my left here, some utensils. Would you like to talk about this particular set of uh, utensils first? Yes. These are Koi Pai Thi molds. Mm. This is probably one of the early ones mm. because uh, when my mother was giving uh, demonstrations mm. on uh, Pai Thi, you couldn't buy this thing. Mm. So my father commissioned an uh, ironmonger to make these things for those who are attending. Ah, okay. So, How I, old is this This actually? must be in the 50s or maybe. The 1950s. Or, ah, yeah. okay. You can hold the rest. Some of these are from a mother-in-law. They got the doubles. And then this was the most recent. We can make five of these in one go. Mm -hmm. uh, this is uh, the Thai version. I think Kratong Tong, I think they call it. Okay. Uh, and this is a, a miniature one. Okay, <laughs> alright. This is very unusual. Okay. How, how do you actually use them? Well, I can show you how it's done. Really? Yeah. Okay, let's take a look. So, Doctor, let's move on to this uh, second set of our collection you have. Uh, what, what are they actually? These are roti jala molds. Mm -hmm. And the jala in Malay means net. So, it all started mm -hmm. in the old days when they used their fingers, stick the fingers into the batter and then you go around. Ah, the, okay. Uh, later on, I think some of the you, people use, uh, you have a funnel made from banana leaf. And I, I presumably somewhere along the lines the Nonya must have gone to the to get them made in brass. Ah, okay. Okay. And what about this one? This is a bit easier because in normally if you have this you have to take it out and then you put it ah, back. Ah right, okay. But in this case you you just pour and then you just put it back. Yes, so okay. that's, that's easier. Alright. Uh, so this is a 
public uh, plastic. The modern version, yeah. plastic version, okay. Uh, this is this is also a plastic version of this. Mm -hmm. And now we have this one here which seems easier but I find it's not much different. Okay, I'll, I'll be very interested to take a look at the demonstration. Let's do the demonstration. Yes, certainly. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we start by filling up the mold and then we put this down here. Then we just shake it a bit too. Yeah. So when it's cooked, it should get off the, the pan. Right. Try some. You can have I it with will. honey. Okay, I would definitely want to try some. It's like pancake. Yes. I will eat it plain first. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Hmm, 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 hmm. I haven't tried this for a long time. <laughs> Normally we eat it with curry. Hmm, yeah. yes. <laughs> Thomas, hmm. do you know what these are? I have no idea. Educate me, please. These are the molds used to make uh, love letters or quick up it. Oh, okay. Um, just tell us a little, a little bit more about this. Yeah. Okay, these, these are all very interesting, these mm. are very historical. So mm. I, I think they started with these iron molds, mm -hmm. which are actually made by hand. Mm. And they have a dice, mm -hmm. uh, which they bash into ah, this. And right, see, right. The, the shape of the dice are only are standard. Mm -hmm. okay? uh, some of them are, are like that. Mm -hmm. okay? And interestingly, mm -hmm. when they went on to do the next version, they also follow the same Mm. But these are actually cast. And we have some very interesting yes, I can uh, see over here. Uh, designs. Mm. They use animals like mm. birds, bees, fishes. Mm -hmm. And then I think some of these have Chinese characters. Uh, this one is very unusual. This is mm. a, sort of a very early one. Mm. And these are all very geometrical. I'm not mm. sure where this comes from. Okay, but they still look very old already. Yeah. Okay, Doctor, what about this one, the square ones? Where are they from, this one? Oh, these are Indonesian. Mm. I think if you look at the design, they, mm. <laughs> they don't look like the ones that yes. we have. These, these yeah. ones are the ones that uh, was in sort of Malaya, Malaysia, Singapore, in this part of the world. Mm. But the, the designs are, you know, quite different. And I yes. think if you look at the other one... Oh, the other one, okay. Uh, just take it, all right. This one. Yeah. Okay. And this, this has a, a bate sort of design. Yes, and this yes. one obviously, is, I think it's very Indonesian. I can tell that they're all handcrafted. Yes, yes. Before we close today's episode, we have a giveaway contest for you. We're giving one autographed book of Dr. Ong's Penang Heritage Food. Now, this recipe book has won the Goman World Cookbook Award for Best National Culinary History. Now, to win this book, just subscribe to iCollect and also leave a comment to qualify. This contest opens on the 23rd of November at 8 p.m. Singapore time and ends on the 30th of November, 8 p.m. Singapore time. The winner will be selected on the 30th of November at 8.05 p.m. sharp Singapore time. We will post the winner at the description of this video and the winner will have one week to get in touch with us to claim the prize. So remember to check back when the contest closes. This contest is organized by iCollect and not by YouTube. And we will be responsible for the contest and ensuring the winner gets the prize. More contest details and rules are listed below at the description. Make sure you read and good luck. Now show us your like if you have enjoyed today's episode. Share and yes, subscribe. Now, whether you are a collector, a creator of collectibles, or a business that curates and sells collectibles and would like us to feature you, please don't hesitate to contact us via this email address. To the next episode, this is Thomas saying cheers and bye for now. <laughs>